Hi everyone, welcome to MedSketch. The toxin of the day is hydrocyanic acid. For ease, we have named the scene as the industrial zone. So on the right side of the scene, you can see that few almonds are present on the ground. These almonds are emitting some volatile fumes. So basically, the solution of hydrocyanic acid is colorless, volatile and smells like bitter almonds. Let's talk about the category of hydrocyanic acid. So it belongs to the category of corrosive. So you can see the corrosive sign on the left side of the scene. So let's talk about the fatal dose and fatal period of hydrocyanic acid poisoning. So in the sky, you can see a pilot is flying a plane with the banner of 5010. So just on the right side of 50, you can see an acid bottle is present. And on the right side of 10, you can see almond sign is present. So the fatal dose is 50 mg of pure acid and 10 or 15 in case of bitter almonds. So basically hydrocyanic acid is present in bitter almonds. So 50 mg in case of acid and 10 in case of bitter almonds. So let's talk about the fetal period. So in the middle of scene, you can see a furnace or burner or exhaust of a factory. Just in front of it, there is a clock that says 120. So the fatal period is 1 to 20 minutes. So what is the mechanism of action of hydrocyanic acid? So on the left side of the scene, you can see a barrier just on the right side of our corrosive sign. On the barrier, it is written P450. The same barrier was used in our video of copper. There it was representing inhibition of enzymes. So here it is representing the inhibition of cytochrome P450 system. So basically oxygen cannot be utilized and cell deaths occurs due to internal asphyxia. This effect is seen after absorption. This locally acts as a corrosive as well. So just remember that it leads to the inhibition of cytochrome 450 oxidation system. So let's talk about the sign and symptoms of hydrocyanic acid. So the poisoning of hydrocyanic acid is very dangerous if it is inhaled. It causes sudden death within a minute maybe without a cry even so the acute sign and symptoms are represented on right side of the scene you can see a ghost that is having big eyes on the left side of the ghost you can see an elderly man who is having a blue face and who is probably sighing he is bending and just beneath the man you can see a shopping bag that is having a symbol of esophagus and also of stomach so what are this representing? So the blue color is representing the cyanosis that the face of the person is cyanosed. Also, you can see the person is having difficulty in breathing. So dyspnea can be present. The big eyes of the ghost are representing the dilated pupils. Also, you can see the burning stomach and the burning esophagus on the shopping bag. They are representing the corrosion of mouth, throat and stomach. So let's revise the signs and symptoms of acute poisoning. Dyspnea can be present, dilated pupils can be present, corrosion of mouth, throat and stomach and respiration is spasmodic and face is cyanosed. So the chronic poisoning is represented by our brain character that is present on the left side of our elderly man. You can see that the character is vomiting and he is a bit confused having swirling eyes and fluid is present on the ground. So in case of chronic poisoning, there are headache, vomiting, diarrhea, cachexia, and mental disturbances. So let's talk about the post-mortem appearance. So the post-mortem appearance is represented by a boy that is falling on the ground with the pink shirt. So you can see that some sort of smell is emitting from the body. His face is blue, eyes are sunken, and you can see that froth is coming from the mouth. Also, red spots are present all over the body. So basically, in the post-mortem appearance, smell of bitter almonds is coming from the body. The face is cyanosed, eyes are sunken, pupils are dilated. Fine froth can come from the mouth. The red signs are representing the petechial hemorrhages in the pleura, peritoneum, meninges and the brain. 
and bitter almond smell can also be emitted from the body cavities so just you can remember from the boys that cyanosis is present froth is present fatigal hemorrhages are present and the bitter almond smell is emitting from the body surfaces so let's talk about the medical legal importance of hydrocyanic acid so just behind our post mortem boy you can see a building that is having yellow caution ribbons these are also present in our striking in videos so here it is representing the homicidal poison also you can see that from the clock a rope is hanging that is representing the suicidal action of hydrocyanic acid also in the sky on the left side you can see our beak bug from the abris video the beak bug in abris video was representing the cattle poisoning so let's summarize the medical legal aspects so basically hydrocyanic acid can be used as a homicidal poison as a suicidal poison and it is also used in cattle poisoning so let's talk about the treatment so the treatment is represented in the center of scene you can see an injection that is injected into a bottle that says nano3 and a respirator is present on the left side so artificial respiration is the first step the injection says nike nike so iv injection of nike thamide is used in case of hydrocyanic acid the bottle says nano3 sodium nitrate iv injection of sodium nitrate and sodium thiosulfate are basically used so let's summarize the treatment so artificial respiration iv injection of nikethamide iv injection of sodium nitrate and sodium thiosulfate are basically used so here was our video of hydrocyanic acid so hope you liked the video if you have any questions drop in the comment section till then take care for detailed literature of toxins refer our textbook excel forensic medicine and toxicology available at all major medical bookstore all over pakistan